Folly Beach City leaders postponed voting on their short-term rental ordinance during tonight's City Council meeting. News News' Lexi Moore is joining us live from Folly. And Lexi, tonight was supposed to be the second reading of the ordinance. Brendan, Folly Beach City Council voted to postpone their vote on the short-term rental property ordinance, and many people lined up during public comments to speak on the matter, but they were not allowed. But a former Folly Beach mayor voiced his concerns to City Council about the ordinance. Comment on STRs, we're not talking about it tonight. No STR comments tonight? We're not talking about it. Got both votes next month. Have a good month. Folly Beach City Council postponing their vote on short-term rental properties. City leaders are planning out dozens of regulations for rental properties and stricter rules to ensure visitors behave in a way that is respectful to the island and its full-time residents. The certification the owner has read applicable city ordinances, including but not limited to regulations regarding noise, trash, parking, alcohol on the beach, animals. Currently, there are nearly 1,100 short-term rental properties on Folly Beach. They account for about 40% of properties on the island and generate around $58 million in revenue. The number of rentals is a continuing to increase while we do this work. Former Folly Beach Mayor Dr. Richard Beck addressed City Council, asking them to look at capping the amount of short-term rentals to avoid overwhelming the island. If we don't put a cap on it, if we don't stop it, there will be no end. If Folly, is the, if Folly will be the place where everybody who wants to make a dime, corporations included, they will come to Folly. As city leaders and residents who live in the area have been debating for several months on the best outcome for this ordinance, Dr. Beck says he hopes the city makes the best choices for the future of Folly. Folly is not just an island, as you well know. It's a way of life. And this council can be its guardians or you can be the ones that destroy it. City leaders say when making this decision, they want to take their time for the best outcome in this ordinance, and they plan on discussing it and possibly voting on it again at a city council meeting within the next month. Reporting on Folly Beach, I'm Lexi Moore, Kettle 2.